Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost. Amen. I will go unto the altar of God, even unto the God of my joy and gladness. I help us in the name of the Lord, who hath made heaven and earth. I confess to Almighty God, to Blessed Mary ever Virgin, to Blessed Michael the Archangel, to Blessed John the Baptist, to the Holy Apostles Peter and Paul, to all the saints, and to you, brethren, that I have sinned exceedingly in thought, word, and deed, through my fault, through my own fault, through my own most grievous fault. Wherefore I pray, Blessed Mary ever Virgin, Blessed Michael the Archangel, Blessed John the Baptist, the Holy Apostles, Peter and Paul, all the saints, and you, brethren, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy upon you, forgive you your sins, and bring you to everlasting life. Amen. I confess to Almighty God, to Blessed Mary ever Virgin, to Blessed Michael the Archangel, to Blessed John the Baptist, to the Holy Apostles, Peter and Paul, to all the saints, and to you, Father, that I have sinned exceedingly in thought, word, and deed, through my fault, through my own fault, through my own most grievous fault. Wherefore I pray, Blessed Mary ever Virgin, Blessed Michael the Archangel, Blessed John the Baptist, the Holy Apostles Peter and Paul, all the saints and you, Father, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy upon you, forgive you your sins, and bring you to everlasting life. May the Almighty and merciful God grant us pardon, absolution, and remission of our sins. Wilt thou not turn again and quicken us, O Lord, that thy people may rejoice in thee? O Lord, show thy mercy upon us, and grant us thy salvation. O Lord, hear my prayer, and let my cry come unto thee. The Lord was my refuge and my upholder. And he brought me forth into a place of liberty. He delivered me because he delighted in me. I will love thee, O Lord, my strength. The Lord is my rock, my fortress, and my Saviour. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. The Lord was my refuge and my upholder, and he brought me forth into a place of liberty. He delivered me because he delighted in me.
O Lord, who never failest to help and govern them whom thou dost bring up in thy steadfast fear and love, keep us, we beseech thee, under the protection of thy good providence, and make us to have a perpetual fear and love of thy holy name. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, thy Son, our Lord, who livest and reignest with thee in the unity of the Holy Ghost, ever one God, world without end. Amen. The lesson from the epistle of Blessed John the Apostle. Dearly beloved, marvel not if the world hate you. We know that we have passed from death unto life, because we love the brethren. He that loveth not his brother abideth in death. Whosoever hateth his brother is a murderer, and ye know that no murderer hath eternal life abiding in him. Hereby perceive we the love of God, because he laid down his life for us, and we ought to lay down our lives for the brethren. But whoso hath this world's good, and seeth his brother have need, and shutteth up his bowels of compassion from him, how dwelleth the love of God in him? My little children, let us not love in word, neither in tongue, but in deed and in truth. And hereby we know that we are of the truth, and shall assure our hearts before him. For if our heart condemn us, God is greater than our heart, and knoweth all things. Beloved, if our heart condemn us not, then have we confidence towards God. And whosoever we ask, we receive of him, because we keep his commandments, and do those things that are pleasing in his sight. And this is his commandment, that we should believe on the name of his Son, Jesus Christ, and love one another, as he gave us commandment. And he that keepeth his commandments dwelleth in him, and he in him. And hereby we know that he abideth in us by the Spirit which he hath given us. Thanks be to God. When I was in trouble, I called upon the Lord, and he had me. Deliver my soul, O Lord, from lying lips, and from a deceitful tongue. Persecute me and deliver me. Alleluia. The Lord be with you and with thy spirit. The continuation of the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory be to thee, O Lord. At that time Jesus spake this parable unto the Pharisees. A certain man made a great supper, and bade many, and sent his servant at supper-time to say to them that were bidden, Come, for all things are now ready. And they all with one consent began to make excuse. The first said unto him, I have bought a piece of ground, and I must needs go and see it. I pray thee have me excused. And another said, I have bought five yoke of oxen, and I go to prove them. I pray, I pray thee, have me excused. And another said, I have married a wife, and therefore I cannot come. So that servant came and showed his lord these things. 
Then the master of the house, being angry, said to his servant, Go out quickly into the streets and the lanes of the city, and bring in hither the poor and the maimed and the halt and the blind. And the servant said, Lord, it is done as thou hast commanded, and yet there is room. And the Lord said unto the servant, Go out into the highways and hedges, and compel them to come in, that my house may be filled. For I say unto you, that none of those men which were bidden shall taste of my supper. Praise be to thee, O Christ. May I speak in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. First of all, thank you very much for inviting me uh, to join you um, for this Holy Mass this evening. As you know, All Saints has a very strong affection in my heart. You are all, um, those of you who remember back to 10 years ago, when I was in Afghanistan, uh, you were very supportive, both in your prayers and some of you even sending me letters and things, and that has not gone um, unforgotten. And so anyone who walks through the doors of All Saints, new or old, is, is very close to me. I was about to say, in my heart. And that's what I want to say, really, because I know at All Saints we keep feasts on the feast day, um, but we are within the octave of the solemnity of the most sacred heart of Jesus. As someone unashamedly sentimental, the sort of person who prefers dripping pictures and bleeding hearts and madonnas to rather tasteful icons, I think I can sort of side with those who see this feast in a very special way because the sacred heart of Jesus really goes to the very heart of the Christian faith. It is about the passion. And the passion is what we show forth this evening on altars all over the world under the very thin veils of bread and wine. The sacred heart and the feast thereof really is shown every single time a Mass is celebrated, on any altar in the whole of Christendom. There is a church, I think it's it's either in Devon or Cornwall, that has the most marvellous east window, that when the celebrant stands in front of the window and says Mass, if the light is shining early in the morning usually, at about 8.15, 8.20, the wounds of the cross seem to be reflected in the wine of the chalice. As the priest stands there, he can look down and see the central wound, really, just about the wound in our blessed Lord's side, actually seems to fall within the centre of the communion cup. It is a wonderful image. I think as well of the wonderful poem by George Herbert called The Agony. Some of you may know the final uh, two lines, a little couplet at the end. In fact, I had it on a first mass card decades ago. But The Agony just says this. Philosophers have measured mountains, fathomed the depths of seas, of states and kings, walked with a staff to heaven and traced fountains. But there are two vast, spacious things, the which to measure it doth more behove. Yet few there are that sound them, sin and love. Who would know sin, let him repair unto Mount Olivet. There shall he see a man so wrung with pains, that all his hair, his skin, his garments bloody be. Sin is that press and vice which forceth pain to hunt his cruel food through every vein. Who knows not love, let him assay and taste that juice which on the cross a pike did set again a brooch. Then let him say, if ever he did taste the like. Love is that liquor sweet and most divine which my god feels as blood 
but I as wine. Love is that liquor, sweet and most divine, which my God feels as blood, but I as wine. I believe in one God, the Pray, brethren, that this our sacrifice may be acceptable to God the Father Almighty. May the Lord receive this sacrifice at my hands, to the praise and glory of his name, to our benefit and that of all his holy church. The Lord be with you and with thy spirit. Lift up your hearts, we lift them up unto the Lord. Let us give thanks unto our Lord God. It is meet and right so to do. It is very meet, right, and our bounden duty, that we should at all times and in all places give thanks unto thee, O Lord, Holy Father, almighty, everlasting God, who with thine only begotten Son and the Holy Ghost art one God, one Lord, not one only person, but three persons in one substance. For that which we believe of the glory of the Father, the same we believe of the Son and of the Holy Ghost, without any difference or inequality. Therefore, with angels and archangels, and with all the company of heaven, we laud and magnify thy glorious name, evermore praising thee, and saying,
through Jesus Christ, thy Son, our Lord. And we ask that thou accept and bless these gifts, these presents, these holy and unspoiled sacrifices. We offer them unto thee first for thy holy Catholic Church, that thou vouchsafe to keep it in peace, to guard, unite and govern it throughout the whole world, together with thy servant our Bishop and all the faithful guardians of the Catholic and Apostolic faith. Remember, O Lord, thy servants and handmaids, and all who around us stand, whose faith is known unto thee, and their steadfastness manifest, on whose behalf we offer unto thee, or who themselves offer unto thee the sacrifice of praise, for themselves and for all who are theirs, for the redemption of their souls, for the hope of their salvation and safety, and who offer for their prayers unto thee, the eternal God, the living and the true. United in one communion, we venerate the memory, first, of the glorious ever-Virgin Mary, Mother of our Lord and God, Jesus Christ, as also of thy blessed apostles and martyrs, Peter and Paul, Andrew, James, John, Thomas, James, Philip, Bartholomew, Matthew, Simon, and Thaddeus, Linus, Cletus, Clement, Sixtus, Cornelius, Cyprian, Lawrence, Chrysogenus, John and Paul, Cosmos and Damien, and of all thy saints. Grant that by their merits and prayers we may in all things be defended with the help of thy protection through the same Christ our Lord. Amen. We beseech thee then, O Lord, graciously to accept this oblation from us, thy servants, and from thy whole family. Order thou our days in thy peace, and bid us to be delivered from eternal damnation, and to be numbered in the fold of thine elect through Christ our Lord. Amen. Vouchsafe, O Lord, we beseech thee in all things to make this oblation a blessed, approved and accepted, a perfect and worthy offering that it may become for us the body and blood of thy dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. Almighty God, our Heavenly Father, who of thy tender mercy didst give thine only Son, Jesus Christ, to suffer death upon the cross for our redemption, who made there by his one oblation of himself once offered a full, perfect and sufficient sacrifice, oblation and satisfaction for the sins of the whole world. And an institute, and in his holy gospel, command us to continue a perpetual memory of that his precious death until his coming again. Hear us, so merciful Father, we most humbly beseech thee, and grant that we, receiving these thy creatures of bread and wine, according to thy Son, our Saviour Jesus Christ's holy institution, in remembrance of his death and passion, may be partakers of his most blessed body and blood. Who, in the same night that he was betrayed, took bread, and when he had given thanks, he brake it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take, eat. This is my body which is given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. Likewise, after supper, he took the cup, and when he had given thanks, he gave it to them, saying, Drink ye all of this, for this is my blood of the New Testament, which is shed for you and for many for the remission of sins. Do this as oft as ye shall drink it, in remembrance of me. Wherefore, O Lord, we thy servants and thy holy people, also remembering the blessed passion of the same Christ, thy Son, our Lord, as also his resurrection from the dead and his glorious ascension into heaven, do offer unto thee excellent, thine excellent majesty of thine own gifts and bounty, the pure victim, the holy victim, the immaculate victim, the holy bread of eternal life and the chalice of everlasting salvation. Vouchsafe to look upon them with a merciful and pleasant countenance, and to accept them even as thou didst vouchsafe to accept the gifts of thy son Abel the righteous, and the sacrifice of our patriarch Abraham, and the holy sacrifice and immaculate victim which thy high priest Melchizedek offered unto thee. We humbly beseech the Almighty God. Command these offerings to be brought by the hands of thy holy angel to thine altar on high, in sight of thy divine majesty that all we who at this partaking of the altar shall receive the most sacred body and blood of thy Son may be fulfilled with all heavenly benediction and grace through the same Christ our Lord. Amen. Remember, O Lord, thy servants, who have gone before us sealed with the seal of faith and who sleep the sleep of peace. To them, O Lord, and to all that rest in Christ, we beseech thee to grant the abode of refreshing, of light and of peace through the same Christ our Lord. Amen.
To us sinners also, thy servants who hope in the multitude of thy mercies, vouchsafe to grant some part and fellowship with the holy apostles and martyrs, with John, Stephen, Matthias, Barnabas, Ignatius, Alexander, Marcellinus, Peter, Felicitas, Perpetua, Agatha, Lucy, Agnes, Cecilia, Anastasia, and with all thy saints within whose fellowship we beseech thee admit us, not weighing our merit, but granting us forgiveness through Christ our Lord, through whom, O Lord, thou didst ever create all these good things, to sanctify, quicken, bless, and bestow them upon us. Through him and with him and in him, O God the Father Almighty, in the unity of the Holy Ghost, all honour and glory are thine, throughout all ages, world without end. Amen. Let us pray. Commanded by saving precepts and taught by divine institution, we are bold to say. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, O Lord, we beseech thee, from all evils past, present, and to come, and at the intercession of the blessed and glorious ever-Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with thy blessed apostles Peter and Paul, and with Andrew and all the saints, favourably grant peace in our days, that by the help of thine availing mercy we may ever both be free from sin and safe from all distress. Through the same Jesus Christ, thy Son, our Lord, who liveth and reigneth with thee in the unity of the Holy Ghost, God, throughout all ages, world without end. Amen. The peace of the Lord be always with you and with thy spirit.
The Lord be with you and with thy spirit. May God Almighty bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost. Amen. The Lord be with you and with thy spirit. The beginning of the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory be to thee, O Lord. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. The same was in the beginning with God. All things were made by him, and without him was not anything made that was made. In him was life, and the life was the light of men, and the light shineth in darkness, and the darkness comprehended it not. There was a man sent from God whose name was John. The same came for a witness, to bear witness of the light that all men through him might believe. He was not that light, but was sent to bear witness of that light. That was the true light, which lighteth every man that cometh into the world. He was in the world, and the world was made by him, and the world knew him not. He came unto his own, and his own received him not. But as many as received him, to them gave he power to become the sons of God, even to them that believe on his name, which were born not of blood, nor of the will of the flesh, nor of the will of man, but of God. And the word was made flesh, and dwelt among us, and we beheld his glory, the glory as of the only begotten of the Father, full of grace and truth. Thanks be to God. The angel of the Lord brought tidings to Mary, and she conceived by the Holy Ghost. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Behold the handmaid of the Lord, be it unto me according to thy word. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now, and at the hour of our death. Amen. And the Word was made flesh, and dwelt amongst us. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now, and at the hour of our death. Amen. Pray for us, O Holy Mother of God, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray. We beseech thee, O Lord, pour thy grace into our hearts, that as we have known the incarnation of thy Son, Jesus Christ, by the message of an angel, so by his cross and passion we may be brought unto the glory of his resurrection. Through the same Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen.